But one space which is not seeing uh, any deflation is seeing inflation is hotels. We're talking about uh, lemon tree hotels next. Uh, you know, aggressive uh, sort of addition to their room inventory. Newer cities, of course, uh, hotels coming up. Uh, and uh, there's a lot to talk about really in that space. Patanjali Keswani is Chairman and Managing Director at uh, Lemon Tree Hotels. Mr. Keswani, good morning. Great to have you with us here. Thanks very much for your time. Prashant, this side. Uh, you know, again, as I said, it's boom, boom times for hotels broadly. And you, you've been doing very well as well. Could you give us a sense of what, uh, you know, what, you, what, what the fourth quarter is panning out like uh, Jan to March so far? Is it as strong as what you saw in the third quarter? And, uh, you know, we recently had the management of Indian hotels and I asked them what kind of increase in average room tariffs they expect to see in F525 based on, you know, their assessment of demand strength. They said, uh, you know, double digit should be possible. I mean, actually between 10 and 15 percent. So I wanted your thoughts on the same as well. Go on. So Q4 is traditionally better than Q3. And uh, that's for a very simple reason, because Q... And I'm talking because Diwali and Dasera are normally in Q3. And at that time, business travel and a fair amount of travel reduces. So yes, Q4 will be better than Q3. Uh, as far as next year goes, yes, I would agree with uh, what you just said. I reckon that next year, the, it's uh, but the change it's really happens in October because that's your normal rate cycle. So... I would say, yes, it would be north of 10%. So average room rate should be 10% uh, 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 plus in FI25 over 24, oh. as you see it right now. <coughs> uh, sir, I think, oh, I think, we, I think we have a bit of... New, you know, as you know, we've opened a very large, we've, uh, we've opened a very large hotel in uh, Bombay. Yes. Where the average rate will take the company's average rate up. Hmm. So, for us, it will be a little better than 10%. Okay. Uh, no, got that. I mean, actually, uh, <clears throat> you know, so Bombay is a booming market. Uh, we got that feedback from uh, Indian hotels as well. Could you tell us what is the uh, tariffs there and what kind of occupancies are you seeing in the Mumbai hotel? The new hotel that you've opened, sir? I mean, what kind of uh, response have you seen? What are tariffs, etc.? Okay, I think... Uh, so the, as I, I, back. Yeah. I, I, okay, yes. Okay, I, I think what we'll do is we'll try and have Mr. Keswani uh, on another line because there's some uh, issue, technical issue. I know you're very interested in how the new hotels and, you know, the tariffs and everything, but it's just a scratchy line that we have. <laughs> no, Indian Hotels told us that the new yeah. hotel, and by the way, for Lemon Tree, it's one of the largest properties in Mumbai, mm -hmm. and Indian Hotels told us the average room tariff is 7,500 rupees, and already with a month, only a month old, uh, occupancies are about 80-90% uh, wow. is what they'd said. So, but uh, surprisingly, they don't have a hotel in uh, in some of these temple towns, mm -hmm. right? Ayodhya, etc. So I wonder why. I mean, yeah. Lemon tree, that is. Maybe uh, in the works. Maybe in the works, so, yeah. Mr. Keswani, apologies, we got you on a bit of a scratchy line. So I was just asking you about the uh, property in Mumbai. Uh, you said that will take your overall room rates higher. Could you talk to us about what kind of occupancies have you seen so far? And what are tariffs there? So look, it is uh, the it is the largest hotel in India, by the way. So it will take a little time to build up occupancy. Uh, we will, uh, since it's close to 700 rooms, we are doing north of 400 rooms today. Uh, that's where we've reached. Uh, roughly half the rooms are crew, and the other half are uh, non-crew. So if I exclude crew, which is normally at a lower rate, our average rates there are about 11 to 12 thousand. Uh, my expectation is that this hotel will have a material impact because it is so large and so high value. It will have a material impact on Lemon Tree's overall revenues and uh, uh, average rates and EBITDA, which will start playing out from the next year. But in Q4, it will uh, it will certainly do uh, north of 60 percent, maybe 65 percent. And, uh, um, you know, will be EBITDA, definitely EBITDA positive and also fat positive, which is actually quite exceptional when you open a new hotel. Absolutely. Uh, Mr. Keswani, good morning. Uh, we were just talking about how there is this sudden surge in religious tourism. I uh, wanted to understand, do you have any hotels in these temple towns and any uh, plans for opening a hotel in Ayodhya? Yeah, so... 
well, I was not going to uh, say anything till we signed, but we have a definitive agreement mm. to open a 200 room lemon tree premier in Ayodhya, very close to the uh, what is it called the the, the temple complex, and uh, we also have. Um, we are in, in the middle of discussions to open an orica in a palace on the banks of uh, the river Ganges with its own private heart. Um, and I expect that both of these we will finalize and then obviously inform the stock exchanges. One. In addition, we have, as it happens, a whole bunch of hotels in, in what we would call religious destinations. Uh, uh, locations, you know, in TKH and so on and so forth. So we are quite present, but actually I'm quite happy about the Ayodhya and the uh, the, the Varanasi, Kashi uh, the project. They are large projects, very nice projects, and, uh, you know, significant capital will be deployed by the, the people who own these assets. We will be managing that. Okay. Uh, Mr. Keswani, uh, <clears throat> got that. So, you know, in terms of new room addition, uh, by the end of this year, what would you be at? And by the end of next year, because you've got so many plans, uh, F525, uh, where will you be at? So, currently, Prashant, we have about 10,000 operating rooms, about, uh, I think, 101 or 102 hotels. We have in the pipeline roughly another three, three and a half thousand rooms and about 60 hotels. So these will obviously operationalize over time. My best guess is every year we will open at least 2,000 more rooms uh, and we will add 3,000 more rooms. So if I gave you an estimate, uh, you know, next year we will have over 12,000 rooms operating. We will probably have 4,000 rooms in the pipeline. Then the following year, we will have 15,000, 14,000, 15,000 rooms operating and maybe 5,000 rooms in the pipeline. What I had broadly said was that over five years, I said this last year, we will hit mm -hmm. or exceed 20,000 rooms. I, I see. I've got that. Uh, 20,000 ro uh, rooms, uh, <clears throat> basically in the, next four, uh, in the next four years now, right? Because uh, uh, you, you should be but there every year, 2,000 rooms. Yeah, basically, we already are in that sense because this 20,000 includes hotels yet to open. It's the pipeline. Yeah. So we are already at nearly 14,000. So yeah. it's not an ambitious target at all. What I'm saying is every year we will sign 2,000 more rooms and obviously some of them will continue to keep opening. Got it. Mr. Keswani, we'll leave it there. Shorter conversation today, sir. And hope to have you back on a proper line next time. Apologies uh, for that uh, scratchy one. Thank you for joining us. Useful conversation as always.